Cohen has stepped up, and so it, it's presumed to be dead. Which, by the way, just today, it's amazing how uh, synchronicity works out. Now, another man who I respect greatly um, sent me an email, and it said, and he he found um, a court case where the Supremes came out and said, hey, look, this is how we style all the express trust. And guess what? They're all capitalized. They're all capital. Yep. And then he mentions different types of trust and how they're styled, and guess what? They're all capitalized. But we can't make a Sesakade trust to break out of the Sesakade trust that we're in with basically um, our birth certificate and everything, are we? We have well, to basic. Let me just say that um, that. Let me just say that it takes more knowledge, but in my in in my limited view right now, it, it all depends on you and your consent. And um, and but then again, I'm not saying that I have all the knowledge in the world, and I look forward to to reading and comprehending more because I've been reading, you know, about trust for a long time. Um, I've got all the restatements on trust, and believe me, if you want to go to bed early, start reading the restatements on trust. <laughs> uh-huh. You know, it's some it's some dull reading, but um, you know, I've got all that. If you're interested in that, I've got all that. I definitely am. If if it's not a, a burden to you to, to send it. Oh, it's not a burden. Um, it's about eight megs zipped up. I could maybe send it to Gary. He could send it out to the group, but. Um, um, but anyway, uh, somewhere, somewhere down the line, someone's going to turn to you and say, how'd you get that food? Did that come to you? I mean, how, how'd you come to get that food in your mouth? I mean, wasn't that a benefit? Didn't you come to one, go to one of our corporations that we call grocery stores, you know, and buy that food off the shelf? Right? Yeah, what do you say? Well, I mean, you know, this 18-year-old boy, he, he said, hey, I uh, I exchanged my labor for food. It's an equal what exchange. Mm-hmm. She said, well, how'd you get the gas to get here today? You buy it from one of our gas stations? You know? Yeah. So I mean, somebody... I, I, Somebody within a particular um, structure um, sat down and had the put together the intellectual energy to think out how to um, provide services for um, for a city. I mean, you know, Kane's been building the city for five thousand, six thousand years now, right? Yep. So, you know, they sat down, they figured out how to build the city. But you know, you go to Isaiah. And, and Yah said, woe to those who build houses under house. He said, the grave opens up her mouth to consume those. You know? He ain't too keen on those who build house under house. You know? I mean, when you get people confined in a place, you know, and they're all atop each other, I mean, your murders increase, all your crime increases, you know? It's just disease increases. I mean, problem after problem. Yeah, I mean, that's what the woe. He said, you know, you want to live that way, then, you know, don't be surprised when uh, disease comes and doesn't wipe out half the community. You I'm know? just looking forward to that call next uh, next week. I, there's so many questions I want to ask the gentleman. I know oh, yeah, everybody I'm... probably has a million questions, too. I'll tell you what, I spent some time already at that webpage, and I highly recommend you do the same and get in there and um, start digging. Um, it's really, um, golly, it's, uh, I mean, I've been, I've been at this for a while, and, and even, even, even tonight, you know, I was talking about things, and he gave me a totally different perspective. In terms of how I was looking at things, and in another way to look at it, and I had considered that I'd never considered that the uh, that the preamble created a will. That just did not, in any way, cross my mind. But clearly, that's a will. 
yes, the preamble to the Constitution. Dr. Joseph. We're not... oh, I'm sorry. Hello? Dr. Joseph. Yes. Hi, this is Wade in Tennessee. Good evening. Hey, Wade. Uh, I, uh, my birth certificate was created uh, uh, 10 years after my so-called birth. Yeah. And doesn't have any, it's it's not a true, it's, it, it's, it's totally fabricated birth certificate. Right. Uh, in in all lower case, no doctor signature, and uh, I was wondering how valid that birth certificate would even be in, the, in even even in their world. Well, here's the thing: I've got a um, friend of mine who uh, I'm not going to mention his name, but he uh, he had children outside of the hospital, multiple children outside of the hospital, and he just got tired of being hungry, you know, and um, he. Uh, he went and got um, social security numbers and birth certificates for um, for his children after the fact. Here's the thing: if they start using all that, then it's valid. Um, so it goes to the use. If you're like, for instance, if you flip over a social security card, right? On the back of that social security card, it says. This this card belongs to the Social Security Administration. Then it continues and says, if this card, if you find a card and it doesn't belong to you, return it to the Social Security Administration. <laughs> yeah, not the person, right? <laughs> so cool. Okay, so this card belongs to the Social Security Administration. So if you keep the card, what are you doing keeping the card? It doesn't belong to you. If you find it, it doesn't belong to you. Return it to the Social Security Administration. Right. Well, so you know, um, so they have basically with their addresses all these documents in a return to sender. Yeah. So there's there's a lot of people that are looking at this, you know, give to Caesar what is Caesar's, and they're saying, look, you know, this is Caesar's. So I'm not going to come in and be fiduciary for Caesar's issue. That's not. Um, I don't want to do that. So you yeah, know, Caesar's what Caesar's. If Caesar puts a contract in front of you and you don't like it, well, don't sign it. Just novate it. I mean, you can't. If that's the contract in which you know you're going to get a service, well, great. Novate it. Novate the tar out of it. Scratch it out. I mean, I go so far as to just scratch it out in big bold, and I write no, 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 no. And um, put it in the shredder. <laughs> No, I don't put it in the shredder. I, I want it, and then, you know, my signature I put in the box. I want my boundaries and borders established. And am I going to stand fiduciary for it? Absolutely not. Absent liability is assumed for whatever party that's trying to bill me. No, no, no. So I'm not going to consent to any of that. It's not going to happen. Now, hey, look, I just, what I just said, I don't say that in arrogance. I'm just saying I realize that um, there's a lot of people that can know the truth, but to actually walk that out takes a little bit of, um, it's just not going to happen for you overnight to where you, you would actually feel comfortable going in there and doing something like that because, you know, the fear of, you know, or the lights getting ready to go off, and you know, <laughs> yeah, you're right is. on center stage. I understand. There he is. Get him, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's center stage. All eyes on you. <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's a very valid fear. I can remember the first time I walked in and put a, a disclaimer on the back of a check, and um, my heart was racing, you know, because I had not just one; I had like ten disclaimers, and you know, the, the clerk is going, "What's this?" <laughs> like, that's my signature, you know. And you know, when she took it, I was like, "Oh wow!" <laughs> you know? Uh, you know, but um, I get it, man. The you know, taking that step in faith is um, 
you know, I mean, look, when um, the, the two, the all 12 surveyors came back, you know, only two of them had a good report, right? Joshua and Caleb, the other 10 didn't have a good report. They said, there's giants. We can't go in there. They're going to kill us. You know what I'm talking about there? Moses sent out 12 sur- surveyors into the promised land, and he, um, each each one from each of the tribes, and 12 of them returned. They said, oh, this is a great land. It's got all sorts of good fruit. But only Joshua and Caleb said, let's go. We can go in there and let's get them. Now, others, all they saw was giants. Right, they saw that that mountain ridge. They, they literally they call that the giant's backbone. Whether or not they saw giants or not is not sure if they saw giants or not. But they did say that they thought they were giants in the land, and they didn't. They, but look, you read about Esau's accord, and you read about um, um, Moab and Ammon. Well, they went in there and they kicked those giants. They kicked their rear ends, and so when when um, Yisrael was walking in circles out there. Yah said, you know, you you walk through the outskirts of their land. <laughs> you know, they went in there and they kicked that. They they did what they were, you know, they kicked those giants rear end, and you're not going to take one bit of their land. Make sure you get off your uh, camels, too, and you walk. You know, because, you know, Edom, which is Esau, and uh, Moab and Ammon, which is Lot. I mean, they went in there and they had to they had to take on those giants, and they did. Okay, yeah, Mike. Everybody have a good night. Thanks a lot. Oh, you, you bet. Shalom. I'm going to get off the phone call too. I'm looking forward to next weekend. Yeah, I'm going to end the end the call if anybody doesn't have any more questions. Okay, J.D., thank you, man. Yes, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Have a wonderful night, and have a great week. All right, shalom to you, you too. My name Yep, and that goes to everybody else, too. Um, uh, give, you got to give this uh, call some time to encode, because as soon as I end the call, it's going to go in its encoding phase, and since it is uh, close to three hours, it's going to take a while. So uh, probably about an hour, maybe two, uh, it will be especially close to that uh Divine Mind Group on TalkShoe. And if you want to know how to get there, go to TalkShoe.com. And in, they have a search box in the top right corner. Type in Divine Mind Group, all one word, no spaces, capital D, capital M, capital G. And it should pop up there with that uh, logo with a man with the, with the wings. And, hey, J.D.? Uh, yes. I, I got a quick computer question. You know how sometimes your email, the pictures won't go through that you captured? If I put the picture on my computer screen and take a picture of it with my camera and then from the Photoshop and attach it to the email uh, and then put the person's name like from Quiet Buck or thanks to Quiet Buck for the quick pictures, uh, would that be copyright infringement? Uh, do you own the pictures? Do you make the pictures? No, no. They, they're on websites. Uh, if you don't strictly own the content, don't have their permission under their law, then um, – Technically, they can see you people do it, but that's basically your call. I can't, I, I, I um, can't answer that for you. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, because sometimes they got some kind of deal on, they won't go through on an email. You know, they come out blocked. Well, sometimes, uh, depending on which service you choose, they um, they utilize their own format, and sometimes they put filters to block certain things, or it's just that there's a setting on your side that um, is not allowing you know, certain uh, sized uh, attachments. Um, you basically have to look at your settings and um, check with uh, your provider's, uh, I guess you should say, terms of service. Well, but you shouldn't have no I, problem. You should be able to uh, post it up there. There has to be a setting or some limitation with the file you're trying to send. Okay. Well, I found out, and I just take a picture of it, put it in Photoshop, attach it to email, and it'll go that way. Yeah. Um, if I, if I were you, I would try to make all your pictures JPEG. Um, I don't know if it's just a standard uh, um, uh, bitmap.